Okay, so we're back, back on Manan, uh, doing a super quick recording here, because I don't have too much time, so it's going to be one single session, and I think now is the time that we inform Roland One about our success. Have you managed to retrieve the data from our droid in the Sith base? Indeed I have, just look at the data, look at the precious data. Excellent. It does not appear Killed to have been tampered Sith with, that, so yeah. the Sith did not manage to copy its contents yet. And now for your information. We are not supposed to speak of this, but since you are a Jedi and we have exhausted all the other options, I think I can entrust you with this. As you know, the Republic is fighting for its very existence against the evil of the Sith Empire. As you also undoubtedly know, we're doing very poorly. We need much in the way of supplies and material to stem the tide of battle and bring us victory. Manan is the sole source of Kolto, the most powerful medical substance in the galaxy. Frankly, we need as much of it as we can get. Okay. The Selkath conservatives, with their neutrality treaties, seek to treat the Sith and the Republic equally. This includes Kolto exports. But a few more far-sighted Selkath see that if the Sith are ever allowed to win, the galaxy will be plunged into darkness, and there would be nothing to stop them from taking Manan anyway. So we made a deal. Shh, not so loud. Yes, it is a technical <laughs> violation of the treaty, but it is sanctioned by elements of the Selkath government. We need only to keep it hidden from the Sith. We recently began construction of a secret underground facility to harvest Kolto directly at its source. We also hope to one day be able to synthesize it effectively. Current techniques are insufficient for the task, so we must mine it for now. The amount we take would hardly be noticed, since most is lost naturally before it reaches the surface anyway. We were nearing completion of the base when the digging teams reported some sort of obstruction, um, an ancient building or artifact, possibly your star map. Transmissions from the base were cut off abruptly after that, and we haven't heard from the station since. As you may have noticed, we're hiring a lot of mercenaries around here. Ostensibly, they're to be shipped off-world to aid in our fight against the Sith, but they're really for another purpose. When we lost contact with the station in the Rackard Rift, we sent our contingent of Republic soldiers down to investigate. None returned. We've tried hiring mercenaries and sending them down as well, but none of those expeditions have returned either. The reason we really sent that droid underwater and the reason we needed its data back so badly was to find out what happened to the Rackard Rift Station. But now that we have the data back, our operation is in no danger of exposure to the Sith. And now I must live up to my end of the bargain. How will I get down there? <laughs> I took the liberty of having a submarine prepared for your departure. Merely use this card to get past the door behind our Colto packing room and enter the sub therein. It has been programmed to take you down to the station and also to take you back up should you need something. I would send soldiers to assist you, but we've lost many of ours, and nearly exhausted the mercenary population of this planet. The soldiers we have are barely enough to keep this base secure. The Sith have also noted our interest, and begun to bribe mercenaries away from us. Please, find out what happened to the facility. There may be some survivors left down there. Perhaps even the head scientist, Kono Nolan. Good luck in your efforts. Whoa. That's some, some Dead Space level shit right here. Gonna go to a secret underground facility. I mean, it's not like Dead Space exclusive. There are many tropes and many other video game, video games, many other things have done it. It's like the remote science outpost, kind of the thing uh, level, you know. And they've lost all, all contact. So, I'm gonna get the new area save in here and uh, get into that. Uh, yeah, and that Batmarine, you know. It's kind of like a Batman submarine, the Batmarine. So let's get in there. Yeah, it, it is it is pretty much like a bat bat marine. So we're basically Batman man now, which uh, I do appreciate. Some scary stuff, you know. So here we are, we're down in the... Oh my god, oh dear. Many dead people, something bad has happened. The other submersible is gone. Hmm. That is some scary stuff going on right here. So, what better to do when something is scary than to loot the entire area and get everything going. It's like the uh, RPG logic, you know? Whenever. Whenever you're in a die situation, just uh, loot everything. Take everything, give nothing back. Okay, so I think we've looted the area sufficiently, so we can go explore 
what has happened in this damned station. How? How did you get in? Did they send another submersible? Quick, we have to get out of here. We have to get away. Uh, what happened? No! No, we have no time. We have to leave now. I managed to close the door after they killed everyone else, but I don't know how long it will hold. Uh, I'm not going anywhere. We have to. We have to leave. The cell calf, they went crazy. They started killing anything that moved. Someone must have triggered the defense systems too, because all the droids activated as well. I was one of the mercs the Republic sent down here to find out what happened. We came down and secured the first couple of rooms. There were bodies everywhere. And the cell calf came out, screaming and croaking their fishy little war cries. What? They're dead. All dead. They swarmed out and over us. There was no way we could stop them, so we ran. But hardly any of us made it. Uh, I locked the door behind us, but... But the others had already left in the submersible. The sharks. The Feroxa out there, and... Worse. I heard an explosion shortly after the submersible left. They didn't make it. Just food for the sharks and the Silcath. Like us. Okay, buddy. So, um... Let's get you back to the surface. Back to the surface, yes. No! There's something out there. It got the other submersible already. Suggestion. Perhaps we could dismember the organic. It would make it easier for transport to the surface. Hey, you, 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 you can't just rip me to pieces. I'll die. Amendment. <laughs> I did forget that. Stupid frame on compartmentalized organic meat bags. We can't leave <laughs> until you do something. Blow up the entire station, maybe. That might distract whatever it is long enough for us to escape to the surface. But all the machinery and stuff is in the southern half, and that, that's been flooded. There might still be environmental suits around, but... but the cell calf might have laid their eggs in them. Um, uh, what, what? What? Wait, what? The cell calves lay eggs? Are you, are you, like, fucking crazy right now? Is anything of you <laughs> that you just said of any value or merit? Well, I have to go into the station. No! I locked the door so the cell calf won't get in. If you open it, we're all done for! Um, you, well, um, you call yourself a mercenary? Yeah, you, <laughs> you're pretty, pretty gentle, you know? If you go in there, you're dead. You're all dead! If you want to die, then go. You won't hear me mourning for you. I'll stay here and be safe until some sort of real rescue comes. Don't get your hopes up too high. I have no intention of dying. Hmm. <laughs> You're a wimp, you know that. Who goes into an underground facility with a stun button? Like, are, are you even for real right now? Get some proper blasters, man. I mean, he's bound to lose with a stun button. Like, what is he expecting to do? To stun a crazed and wild Serkov? And in going into an unknown danger and venture and the only thing you bring is a fucking stun rod? Like, what is wrong with you, man? I've got something real here for you. Got the Barakvin Iron Blaster. Perfect against droids. So, got a security panel, so we can have a look what's going on in a second. So right now I'm just gonna snipe this guy away in the head. Oh, that's not nice. 49 damage and the second shot shot kill him. Okay, it didn't, but it could have. It might have. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Yes, Kendrus. You crazy Mandalorian? Absolutely right. Oh, he just two shot that thing. Good, good job, Kenruth. You're one mean guy, you know that? And I appreciate you for that. I really do like having you by my side, Kenruth. So let's uh, slice this thing. I mean, we've got a decent amount of computer skill. We've got uh, eight computers. So we can just have a look at it. Oh my god! Crazed Sarkov in here. Can we do anything? Oh, we can we can vent gas into the room. Ah, get wrecked. Please die. Yep. Ain't got any Tharkov around here anymore. West storage room. Uh, just gonna vent some gas in here. You know, might as well... Uh, might as well gas them. I mean, we have no sufficient evidence that they're actually attacking us, but, um... Just gas them for good measure, you know? Kind of my German heritage. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Okay, so we get into here. Uh, yeah, I mean... Yeah, we can take care of the droids, no problem. 
could uh, remove the shield, but that's kind of a waste. Uh, that's interesting. And the security room, yeah, well, I think we've got all the important gassing done, so... Should, uh, should get all of the X XP. So let's clear out this underground thing. Uh, really good lighting and mooding and, and everything here, I really like that. So. Oh, we've got an insane Sarkov here, so... Let's see if we can shoot him. Okay, he's insanely tanky as well. Jesus, man. At least it is in 22 damage. How are they so tanky? How are they so tanky, man? Like tanks, like off. Got some remains here. So it looks like we. I mean, I, I do remember that we gassed this room, so we kind of gassed half the room or something like that. Everything. Jedi Master Rope. So the Dark Jedi was down here as well. How, how did the Dark Jedi come down here? This is odd. What is it? What, what, what is the Dark Jedi doing down here? Hmm. Weird. Just get in here. Okay, we've got no thought droid. Okay, I just missed every shot. Oh. Yeah, he. Uh, well, Kandoros is no joke. Kandoros is just. Yeah, wrecking them. Just going in there. That is not an equipment. Okay, there's an equipment hat. All of these dead bodies everywhere. I feel quite uncomfortable. I think this is another room we have gassed. The footlocker here. Bionic and sonic, sonic emitter and a data pad. Like basically the clue of everything. Yeah. In response to those Firaxan sharks outside, I managed to whip up a little something in one of the warp rooms. This is the sonic emitter, which should scare them off. The sound seems to work a lot better underwater than through the air. So we basically have like a sonic weapon for underwater against sharks. Which is pretty badass if you ask me, but uh, nobody is. Oh my god, okay, so here's the heavy droid. I heard I bet. Got 40 damage in. I heard I bet. Got 40 damage in, even. A uh, Kandorus, your help would be appreciated. Move, move it. Yeah, wreck that droid, man. <laughs> He's doing quite some work. Yes. Good job. Now, unfortunately, I can't heal HK-47 with my healing, so ready. get your repair kits ready, my friend. Sure. Good. Another footlocker. Another dead soldier. And we're in the suit room right now, so we can get the environmental suit going. Got that. Got the uh, large Crack. security locker here. Got it. Crack that. No problem. I mean, I mean, this is a huge station full of equipment, so no problem. Gonna get all of it. Got it. Thank you. So, um, is somebody out there? Fishy, fishy, fishy. <laughs> Come and eat me too. <laughs> you can't get me, little fishy. Nothing here. I'm safe behind my walls. Um. I'm Drulik, and I've been sent by the Republic to investigate. Investigate? You're just like the others. Order for the Selkath. Walk and fish next. Trump, trump, trump. If you can run, you might be fast food. When the Selkath went insane and started killing everybody, I locked myself in here. I'm safe in here. Nothing can hurt me in here. No fishy food for me. Um. No, 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 no. That's what the others said. Mercenaries like you. But they're dangerous. Selkath ate them. Lunchy munchy. Only the ones left in the south part of the base might still be alive, but where the cult are is. Few fishies there, but many, many, many fishies in between the water. Don't know. Go ask them. <laughs> when the demon screamed, it shook every mind in the station. We fell to the ground but survived. Fishy fishies, though, they just got hungry. 
Uh, if you don't come out, I'm just gonna leave you in there. Bye bye. Go look for fishy people. They'll chomp and bite and chomp and bite. Food for fishy. That's you. <laughs> well, remind me that uh, if something bad happens here, we can just uh, you now fall back to our contingency plan, which is locking ourselves into a a locker. Average fragmine. No, I'm just gonna. Candorous, take that for me, please. You'll have self healing. Thank you. Good. So, another sonic sure. emitter in here. This is a dead end. And, uh. Door. Oh! That is an awkward encounter. Just randomly finding a droid. Get rid of it. Nice 28 damage here. And we've got to level up skills. Hmm. Well, I think we need more awareness, but I also want the repair skill. So, I'm do it this way. Powers. I don't really need any more powers. Stop giving me powers, man. <sighs> it's such a, such a weird thing, you know, saying, like, stop giving me powers. But I really don't need them, so. You know. Average gas mine. Yep. So here we have the exit. It's gonna explore the rest of the base right now before we venture into the unknown abyss. No problem. Maybe Got we'll it. find something interesting here. I mean, there's not much of a fight to be had because we gassed all of the people, but uh, that's okay in my book. The first science and research station and mining facility. They have awfully. Okay, that wasn't average fragment. They have an awful lot of uh, credits just laying around, you know. I'm just triggering all of the mines because I don't want to run in them randomly, you know. It's just a. Okay, do I get wrecked, please? Again, Candorous putting in some work here. And we've got an insane psycho. Get stasis and get wrecked, my friend. In the head. Okay. I think they have got the wrong death sound in here. I mean, they exploded like droids, but uh, they're Sarkov, so I don't know about this. He just got horrified and stunned and wrecked, as he should be. So we've got an energy projector, which is a good upgrade for a melee weapon. Unfortunately, we don't have any more melee weapons to upgrade. So, uh, and I think we have explored all of uh, the wreck at Rift Station right now at this point. It's gonna open the last no door problem. here. Didn't work. Oh, what do you mean skill to low? No problem. Didn't work. Oh yeah, sure. You know what? Yeah. Gonna open the door. Old school style. You didn't hit the door? You can't hit the door? Will you hit the fucking. I mean, really? Wow. Oh, I think this door isn't destroyable. Oh, it is destroyable. He was just very bad at destroying doors. Candorous, you're gonna get demoted for that. I'm sorry, but uh, if you're that bad at killing doors. Yeah, you did get poisoned. Good, so here's the far side exit to the water. Actually, we've got an awful lot of exits, you know. We've got the exit here, here, and here. We can choose freely which one we want to use. So I'm just going to go into that one. I'm going to save. Oh, it's sealed. Okay, so... Um, just going to head back to the other one. I mean, there has to be some airlock that is open, so... I mean, this is like the illusion of free choice. Just give me three doors and then lock one of them. There's only two doors. And I want to go in there. With my nice suit. Unfortunately, we can't take anyone with us because we only have one suit. But it should work out fine, so... This is also a very painfully slow uh, segment of this game where you just uh, run around in a 
un- environmental suit for a pretty long time and nothing really happens because your movement speed is just that slow. Just gonna go exploring here. Cause I know that there's a foot locker in here somewhere. Come here, footy 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 locker. Is that a welded door? It's probably closed. I mean it's called well oh yeah. This door has been welded shut now. That was that was um not at all predictable. I was taken by surprise by that. But the welded door is in fact welded shut and cannot be opened by mere means of clicking on it. And here we've got said footlocker. Yeah. Just open it. And in it we find two average frag mines. Good value. Good value. You know that I go to great lengths and extents to to do stuff, you know, like to get items. I'm just crazy like that. Like in every RPG. You know you know these kinds of plays or maybe you're doing it yourself where you would just go into every single corner of the room and you really really hope that it's a dead end because you have like all of these 20 other ways you've already found to explore and then you just find it goes deeper and deeper and then you you know really want to explore anything and then you backtrack the whole segment you just went through just to you know explore the other options that's kind of like the insane shit RPG players do and I do that you know to an extent as well because I just want I just want these two frag mines man nothing more important in this playthrough right now than these two frag mines just, just saying. Okay, survivor. Who's there? You're not Selkaf. I can see that much. Are you another rescue crew? Uh, yeah, I am. I'm a merc the Republic hired a couple days ago to investigate. But all we found was a bunch of insane Selkaf killing everything that moves. All my companions are dead. The Selkaf swarmed over us. There were dozens of them, and they, they looked wrong somehow. Like something had changed inside them. Insane or something. Oh, I'd have gone back to the surface long ago if this complex hadn't been overrun by all those crazy cell calves. There's no way for me to get to the submarine docking bay. I discovered a way to get to the bay and seal off the rest of the base. I just have to find the Colto Harvester they built on the edge of the Hracker Rift. It's got an emergency override to open the doors to the submarine docking bay. And I could get in from the outside. I figured my only chance was to slap on an environment suit, head out onto the ocean floor, and check that harvester out for myself. Besides, it's gotta be safer out on the ocean floor than back in there with all those crazed cell calf mutants running around looking for dinner. Okay, I come with you. I'm not spending another minute in this facility. Not with those psychotic fish people all over the place. I'm heading out to the ocean floor right now. It leads to another complex of buildings. Going through them is the only way to reach the Colto Harvester. We should probably stick together, but I won't wait around in here with the cell calf. You can catch up with me if you want, down the hall and through the doors on the right. I'll be waiting on the ocean floor where it's safe. Yeah, totally safe on the ocean floor. I haven't heard that one before. Problem is there are Phyrexa sharks, so... We can have a look how this uh, one fares out. We've got our, our sonic uh, sonic emitter, so we can use that to protect ourselves from shark attacks. It's such a weird thing to say, you know, protect yourself from shark attacks. It's like, it's a, a common a common problem, you know. Every day I just have to protect myself from shark attacks. Like warning signs all over the schools. Come on, hurry up. Beware of sharks. Get wrecked, son. That was a good old one shot by the shark. And, uh, yeah, just, just, uh, gently move over the ocean floor here. Got a few sharks here, but, uh, I mean, as soon as they lunge at us, we can kill them. So, Furaxa, please, get here. Need to get kind of close to them. And they're dead. Very, very scary once they you know, charge at you. You have to be kind of fast. Is he, is he charging at me? Now he is. But I got him. Good timing. You know, everybody was Sonic emitter fighting. Those sharks were fast as lightning. 
It was a little bit frightening, but I had expert timing. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, we've got another shark over here. Just wait for him to dash at us. Get here. Get here. Get, 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 get. Ooh, that was close. That was, uh, I waited a bit too long with that one, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, you know, we, we got it in the end, so. Get here, please, and get wrecked. Okay. Now the problem is, uh, again, the illusion of choice. We've got two doors, but they both lead into the same facility, and, uh, yeah, now I'm kind of solo again, because, as I said, my party, my group of people is gone, so. So, yeah. Just uh, have to go through the pressure door and fight myself through these crazed cell calf on my own. I'm so sad, so alone, alone and scared. But I shall push through this. It shall not be a problem. And we've got the insane cell calf. I've got Plague and Horrify. Nice, got all of them. So I should deal a lot of bonus damage right now. Instant kill. Instant kill, maybe? No, not an instant kill, unfortunately. And instant kill. Really love, really love hor Horrify. So look, see, my player character is actually a bit powerful. With a ranged playthrough. Get wrecked. Just killed an entire group. All I needed for that was my Jedi powers and the best blast in the game, fully upgraded. And you see how easy the game is? I, I don't even know. Okay, so let's just head over here. This would have been the other entrance into this... Uh, oh. This is not the other entrance. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm a bit uh, disoriented right now. I don't know where this goes. But anyways, just head into here. Hello. Hello. Oh. More Thurkov. Okay, he saved himself. Good saving throw. Uh, I'm just going to kill these two while I can. I leave the date. Um, horror please, horror, horror. We need some more horror. And I'm dead! Because he moved in there. God damn it, man. That was not at all how I had planned this. Okay, so get in here. Open the door. This time, have a better roll on the horrify. Good, we got this guy in Horrify this time. Okay, he's nearly dead. Get this guy into a nice kill. Good job. Now this guy. Wreck him in the head. Could you attack him, please? And horror him. Oh, he resisted that big time. Just gonna snipe him in the head. Good job. Good job, Druidic. Good leg shot. And this guy is nearly dead, so we can just kill him. And this guy should be just safe, just stated. Good job with the stasis, Druidic. Come on, move it! I don't care. And kill him. Okay, there was a random nade in here. I really do need some higher awareness. Since I can't seem to find these things on my own. What's in here? No, just some nice supplies. Good. Good good stuff. Good stuff going in right here. Okay. I'm gonna save and talk to them. No, no, y you can't come in here. You'll let the Faraxa and the cell calf in. No, stay out! Stay out! I won't let you open the door for those monsters to get in! I'll stop you! I'll suck all the pressure out of the chamber! That'll stop you! Kill them! Kill them now! <laughs> yeah, they're, they're a bit insane, I have to say. Okay, okay. Um, deactivate pressure depressurization frequency. Yeah, get wrecked, son. No, no. The Faraxa will get us. No, the Selkath are coming. No! 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 Ah! You're pretty much insane, you know that? It's not that bad. You can just, you know, use your Jedi powers against the Surkaf. Oh, you don't have any? Well, tough luck. <sighs> Stop screaming. Ah, no! <laughs> Sammy. Sammy, 
Sammy, calm down. Oh my god. I don't think they're here to kill us. Uh, Kono! Kono! Are, are they? <laughs> yes. I think they're here to help us. I, I'm sorry for what I did. Insane. Insane shit. I don't know what came over me. I, I, I just panicked when I heard someone outside the door. <sighs> Please forgive me. I'm just so scared. We're both just scared. When the cell cap went <laughs> crazy, <laughs> just... I thought everyone else except me and Sammy went mad. We had a few people outside the station when it happened. The frags and sharks just tore them apart. It was it was like they were frenzied. The next thing we knew, our cell cath researchers started screaming and, 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 and clawing at everything around them. My team, my team was torn apart and eaten before my eyes. Sammy and me, I, I thought we were the only ones left. We heard the cell cath outside the doors every once in a while and strange noises echoing through the base. We thought everyone was dead. Dead or insane. I must have been hysterical. I, I don't know what I can say. I truly apologize for the horrible mistake I was making. I'm Kono Nola, and this is Sammy. We were scientists working here on the Harakard Rift project. Um, he tried to kill me, man. Yeah, that's pretty severe. Look, I'm sorry. I have just been under a lot of strain recently. <laughs> you know, a bit burned out from work, you know. My entire research team devoured before my eyes. Kono, Kono, calm down. <laughs> Don't talk to him like that. We've gone through a lot, and we said we were sorry for the mistake we made. Yeah, just just a small mistake. I mean, actions, but don't talk to him like that, man. Even a little stress. It's, it's just obvious he wants to kill everyone who's here to save you. Um, how about I ask the question? You know. Well, we're not too clear ourselves just exactly what happened. The work teams were outside in the rift near the vent. Then there was this rumbling and my head felt like it was splitting open this this monster rose up from the rift it was a Firaxa shark i think bigger than anything i'd ever seen before bigger than our submersibles it was like it was screaming inside my head then all the cell cats started screaming too and they turned on us was it protecting them may may have been maybe it was protecting the ruins by the rift it could have been it might have a lair in the Harakard Rift near the Kolto vent. Hmm. That might explain a few things, too. Like, why it reacted so violently when our construction efforts got closer to the vent. And also, why it's so large. It must be feeding off the Kolto. It would have to be ancient indeed for it to reach that size. But with Kolto as a food source... And all those other Firaxan sharks? Those might be its offspring. Which would be why they all swarmed when it called out to them. Children coming to protect their mother. Well, what can I do about it? The Firaxan sharks have always been a serious problem. We had some blasters and projectile cannons to defend against them, but... They still got some of our workers from time to time. We were working on a soluble chemical compound that would drive them away. Something that smelled or tasted repulsive to them, but we never got it working right. Oh, I think not. Even flawed like it is, it should be ideal for this situation. No, it's not working right. You don't know what it'll do. What are you about? The repellent we made was supposed to drive Firax and sharks away, but we never got very far in its development. The one we tested instead was violently toxic to them, rupturing their outer skin in seconds and preventing them from drawing oxygen from the water by clogging their intakes. Which is exactly what we need in this situation. Something to kill that monster shark that destroyed our station. But we don't know how else the chemical reacts. We only tried it in a controlled environment. In the open ocean, who knows what it could do? It could even affect the culto. We know exactly what it'll do. It'll kill the shark. That's what we designed it to do. How the hell is she the voice of logic and reason right now? She's like, no, we have to think about if it's environmentally friendly or not. And, you know, a second she gay, she was like, ah, 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 and I'm like, stop screaming, she's like, ah, you know, and, and now, now she's like, you know, I'm, 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 I'm a scientist lady, I know what to do. You don't need to do anything else. <laughs> we have a canister of the toxin here right now. We were working on it before the giant Firaxan drove all the Selkath insane. All you need to do is insert it into the main Kolto harvester and have it vented. Get away as soon as you can. We don't know how much worse it'll affect the giant Firaxan shark. What other, what other choice do I have? Well, the monster seems to have been driven out by the machinery we installed at the edge of the rift. 
We've seen it out there on the cameras, bashing itself against the machines. I think if you could destroy the machinery we installed, the shark would calm down and retreat back into its lair inside the rift. Hmm. You can reprogram the harvesting machines to overpressure their self-oxidizing fuel so that the fuel tank canisters will rupture and the entire machine will destroy itself. The hydroleum gas we use is a gas at 1 to 3 million sangin, a liquid at about 4 million sangin and a solid above that. When it's a liquid, it's very explosive. If you inject enough of the hydroleum gas into the tank, the pressure will be so great that it'll turn to liquid form and start a chain reaction inside the machine. But, but we'll lose everything we've built here. All those years of work. It's better than whatever your chemical will do to the water. I'll try to destroy the machines. Good. Destroying the machinery will be better in the long run. We can't risk damaging the environment or the culto. You'll have to break into the computer on the harvesting machine and fiddle with the fuel injectors to get the tank pressure up to the point where the hydroleum will liquidize. Once the machinery is gone, the shark should leave. That won't work and you know it. We have to vent the toxin from the harvesting machine. Once the shark is dead, we can get back to mining the culto. You know what you have to do. I just hope you make the right choice. Well, at least this is not an illusion of choice. This is an actual choice you can make. But I have already made my mind. We already made up my mind. We are going to uh, use the destruction method. Well, we are going to destroy the machines, let the shark live. I mean. He has every right of being alive because he is... Oh my god, Firaxa, please don't wreck me. Thank you. Oh god, there's another one. Um. What? I did shoot him? How, how did I shoot him? That was random. I shot him without... That is a prime bug in this game, my friend. I just shot a Firaxa shark with my hands. I shot him with my hands. How cool is that? I mean, you're not supposed to have weapons in this game mode because you're in in a suit, obviously, underwater, and you aren't able to fight against them by any other means than the sonic, uh, sonic thing. But I just shot him with my hands. That is some. That's that is super cool. Okay, so here you've got the quarter control panel, and here is the bridge, and over there is the star map. So unfortunately, we can't get there because. The bridge is being guarded by the giant shark. I mean, I could show you what happens. I mean, basically, if you run over here, you're dead because the shark just, you know, gets you. So here we have, uh, yeah, the options. So access fuel tank pressure control. So here's the fuel tanks, and uh, we've got fuel injector at pod zero out of three, and we've got a container of 5 million sangin. So this is the old gallon gallon challenge or gallon puzzle. Uh, so fill the injector pod and uh, transfer from injector to container. Yes, good. Uh, is that how it works? Just let me have a quick think about this. Yes, it is. Okay. So fill the injector pod once more. Uh, transfer from injector into container. Okay, so now we have got one in there. I think. Is that how it works? Yes, it is. Now we dump. I mean, basically what, what we're trying to do here is we fill the three gallon, put it into the five gallon, put the three gallon again, fill it into the five gallon, one gallon is left in the three gallon, dump the five gallon, put the one gallon into the five gallon, and use the three gallon, and then we have got four gallons in the five gallon. I don't get it, you get it? No. Get the jugs. Obviously we can't fill the three gallon jug with four gallons of water, right? Obviously. All right, I know, there we go. We fill the three gallon jug exactly to the top, right? Uh -huh. Okay, now, we pour that three gallons into the five gallon jug. Giving us exactly three gallons in a five gallon jug, right? Right. Okay. Here, right? Right. Leaving exactly one gallon of empty space, right? Yeah. A full five gallons here, right? Right. You pour one gallon out of five gallons into there, we have exactly four, four gallons, gallons in there. Yes. Come on in there, come on. I mean, it's, yeah, okay. So, dump container. Good. Now we fill from injector to container. So, we've got one gallon in the fiver. We fill the injector and we transfer into the container. So, now we should have. 
Uh, we have four gallons. Or oh, four, four million sangen in. In the injector thing, and everything just explodes. So we destroyed the machine, and the shark should be appeased. He should be very, very happy about all of this. Just click on it. See if he's happy about all, everything. Now that the courthouse and machines have been destroyed, the great Phyraxan shows no signs of hostility. It allows you to pass. Thank you, giant shark. I always knew you were my friend. Holy shit, that thing is massive. Unfortunately, there's no free camera. I mean, there is a free camera, but I haven't got it bound. So. There's like a way where you can look around in this game. It's not like always fixed, but uh, yeah. So, uh, so we figured it out, you know, we got it going. And there's the star map. We successfully made our way through Manan. Or Manan. Or Marnan, I don't know. I don't care. I still don't know how Revan and Malak would have been able to do this, but somehow they did, so I don't know. I mean that would that would have been one hell of a swim for for Revan and Malak, you know, to just get down here. But anyways, we got it. So now we can make our very 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 slow way back. These are kind of the dull moments here because, I mean, it's cool, it's atmospheric and everything. You're in in a suit, and it's kind of uh, dangerous. But now that all the sharks are cleared. All the puzzles are solved. Running back is a bit of a pain in the ass. Nothing much to say here. Just strolling and strutting over the bottom of the sea. That's interesting, with the floor panels. Did a pretty good job, you know, managing the sound. That as soon as you go onto the uh, ground, you've got these little steps, and when you are on the on the uh, on the metal, you've got the other sound. But anyways, we're on the airlock, on the inner airlock. We can get Candorous and everything back. And we can head up back through the station. So let's get back. Am I actually taking the right route? Yes, I am. Good. Good. Gonna heal first. And save, because who's here? Dum dum da! It's Darth Bandon! At last, my search is over. I was beginning to fear someone else had killed you and deprived me of the pleasure. Yes. You may have defeated the pathetic bounty hunter my master sent after you, but you are no match for me. I have studied at the foot of the Dark Lord himself. Uh, you were on the, on the spire. You killed Krask. You will pay for that. Um, you're my Alex's apprentice. Can't say I'm impressed. <laughs> How did you get down here? How did he get down here? Do you think those Republic subs are the only way to reach the ocean floor? Malik and Revan found a way down here long before the Rackard station was built. I acquired a ship and followed the same route Revan and my master used on their own journey. Then it was simply a matter of waiting for you to return for the star map. Well, you're a fool if you think you can defeat me. Your words mean nothing to me, unless you wish to beg for your life. No. Then I shall try to make this both quick and painful. Quick and painful? Quick and pain? What? Quick and painful? Okay, obviously he's going to save because he's just a badass. But, uh, yeah, his his apprentice, he should, he should probably uh, find out a better way to deal with this. Yeah, hmm. 
You know, it would be appreciated if some of my companions would do something. You know, like attack him or something. It would be greatly appreciated if you started attacking him. Kandrus? Kandrus, please. Oh, finally. Took him long enough. Okay. Stop, stop leeching, man. Stop leeching. Stop leeching! Stop fucking leeching. I don't believe this, you can't even move. Um, you know what, my friend? Oh! Whoa. Looks like uh, my droid is the best. Yeah, but Canvas didn't fucking sure. move at all. Like, this fight wasn't really hard if everyone had done something. I've got Darth Bend and Fiber Armor. Not gonna heal uh, HK because he's he's gonna get healed on the ship anyway, you know. And I don't want to expend any more of my repair pit packs. So, so who cares? Let's take a look at Darth Bandon's armor. What 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 do you provide me with? So, Darth Bandon's fiber armor has got five damage bonus plus five bonus resistance, and is upgradable armor. It's got armor proficiency light, and it looks pretty, you know, pretty average. But, my dear friends, we have to look what the benefits are of what the benefits are on this thing. Because right now, this thing is plus 13 armor. So, and it has immunity to critical hits. Immunity to what? Wait, wait, wait. This thing has immunity to critical hits? I can't get wrecked? That's awesome. Well, unfortunately, our mercenary friend here is dead. Probably Darth Banton killed him. So He was a coward anyway, so I don't really care. I just forgot I've got immunity to critical hits. Like, that is insane. Let's just use our, you know, bat, bat marine to get uh, on top of things. And let's get lectured by Roland One. Why we are so bound. I was beginning to fear that you too might have been lost. Did you find out what had happened down there at the facility? The Sekov went insane. Insane? What did they do? And why? Your construction works and up. Something was down there? Living in the rift by the Colto? Giant trucks and shock. It's horrible. The entire operation wasted by a disaster we could never in a thousand years have foreseen. What has happened to the facility itself? Were there any survivors? Well, that's good to know. Good to know indeed. But what has happened to the facility? Was it damaged? No, that is terrible. That will set our work back years. It may even cost us the war. While I am glad that you were able to solve our problems, the cost may have ended up being much too high. But you have done your job and helped us in our time of need. And for that, I thank you. Oh, and did you end up finding your star map? Yes, I did. As you can see, by helping us, you helped yourself. Perhaps we can work together again in the future. Yay. The thing is, if you would have uh, poisoned uh, the shark, then the Koto would have been poisoned too. And then you have to go for trial once more. You know, the Sarkov are very, very displeased with you. And they won't let you on your planet again. Like, they're like... No. Please don't. What's going on here? Oh, Sarkov. I just they're just gonna get me anyways. Stop, human. Oh really? Oh yeah, um You know what? I've been in this fucking court. Oh god. They, they, are, they are so politically correct, you know, they're like, yeah, we have to investigate this, we are completely neutral. Why are all water species such wimps, you know? I don't know, man. The explosions were at the research station, both our governments have set up there. Discuss later. Machinery had woken up a grand factor. It's only a legend. No, it's pretty real. I destroyed the machinery to save it. Progenitor. Here's the 
Oh, yeah, of course, you have to debate. Debate once more, my friends. Debate about fate. I did everything right. I'm a light side guy. So far bad. Yes, the trial is over. Thank you. I'm not guilty again. God damn it, Sarkov. You know what? I'm not going to miss your wretched planet right now. I am going to go into the cantina once more. going to tell that guy uh, over why the mercenaries are being hired. Nico Savla. Yes, I do. They are sending them down to a secret base on the record list. Someone knows the truth, man. Someone knows the truth. The Sith are evil. Hmm. Okay. did unravel all of the mysteries. Let's just have a quick look if there are any more mysteries to unravel. Uh, journal, it's... Where's, where's my journal? Uh, this is the journal. No, it's not. This is the journal, okay. So we got some class people and we've got quests for stuff. So no, no, no added side missions here. We, unfortunately, we did whiff a bit, you know, with the, uh, um, with the uh, Gino Haradan quest line because I didn't accept the data pad. That was uh, pretty, pretty bad. Not gonna do that again if I do another playthrough. And um, yeah, we're just gonna head to our ship and uh, just gonna call it a day then. So, is this where the sh ship is? At? Yeah, it is. So, goodbye, Manan. Goodbye. It's been, it's been real. It's been super real here. I've been in that court for. Three times now. I mean, to be fair, I, I did come in with you know my blasters and everything and shot everything that moved on site, but um, I believe I should be able to do that because I am a Jedi after all. And if I shoot somebody, there sh should be a good reason. You know? Shouldn't question that and put me to trial. I'm infallible. Okay. So here we've got the uh, docking bay, and we're gonna move back to where we belong. Yeah, security zone, camera factory. Oh, fuck me. I hate this. I hate this. I just, I just hate this. Look. Thank you. Nothing, nothing, nothing is had here. We've got a few Sith soldiers. He's got all the proper culto training permits, so back off. Okay. You can have a, a small meeting here um, if you, you know, if you had side quests on this planet. Anyways, right back to our ship, and then. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to shut the video down right now. I mean, it's been a bit short, but I just have to really quickly. Thank you, Sarkov. Just have to really quickly get everything going. Okay. I'm going to upgrade Darth Bandon's armor. Just to have a quick look at what you can do. Darth Bandon. Defense plus two. So we are at defense uh, 12. This is immunity mind affecting. Hmm. What is, what, what is mind affecting? Is mind affecting like uh, like CC? Is that uh, like horrified or something? So I could get immune to stuns or I could just stay immune to CC. And I'm probably just going to stay immune to CC because that's just OP. Good. Got any more melee weapons to upgrade? No, these are both terrible and not in use. Uh, light so we can upgrade them probably sometime else. So let's head to Corriban then. But we're not going to do that now. 
save and I'm gonna say see you next recording. I'm just gonna next recording is going to be a longer recording uh, where we uh, like do everything like, like a larger portion right now. I'm just very very quickly trying to get in the video just so you can watch a video every day. Goodbye. See you next time.